Just into our newsroom tonight, the state now confirming it is the victim of a cyber attack. America, we just witnessed what could be the future of cyber warfare, and it should be terrifying for every American. The entire state of Nevada was brought to its knees by a sophisticated ransomware attack that shut down the DMV, welfare offices, and critical services for nearly a week. But here's what's really disturbing. Cybersecurity experts believe these attackers use AI-powered tools to lurk inside Nevada computer systems for months, mapping out vulnerabilities and planning their assault. This wasn't some teenager in their basement. This was a military grade cyber operation that demonstrates how adversaries are using artificial intelligence to wage war on American infrastructure. Our concerns were confirmed. The state of Nevada had become the target of a sophisticated ransomware based cybersecurity attack. And that cyber attack still being felt today by many of you watching this broadcast. What is up, guys? Tyson De La Cruz here. Thank you so much for rocking with me. This attack perfectly illustrates how cyber criminals are evolving faster than our defenses, using cutting-edge technology to target systems we depend on every single day. Let me break down what happened because this attack represents a new level of cyber warfare sophistication. On Sunday, August 24, 2025, Nevada State Computer Systems were hit with what officials called a sophisticated ransom somewhere based cyber attack that hit simultaneously crippling multiple agencies across the entire state of Nevada. The governor's office confirms right here in this press release that the state has been the victim of a cyber attack. The incident that shut down services that we rely on is now at the center of an active investigation. But here's what makes this attack particularly terrifying. Cybersecurity experts believe attackers had been inside Nevada systems for months before launching the ransomware. This is called dwell time, and it's a hallmark of advanced persistent threat. APT groups that use AI-powered reconnaissance tools to map out entire networks before they actually strike. When uh, an attacker is able to identify a flaw in the system, something that they can access in uh, the internal network, internal uh, systems of a network. Once they have uh, full on uh, access to all the systems that they can, they generally execute their uh, ransomware attack. Tim Rye, a cybersecurity expert with over 20 years experience, explained how these modern attacks work. When an attacker is able to identify a flaw in the system, something that they can use to access internal networks, they're able to gain full on access to all the systems that they can, then generally execute their ransomware attack. The simultaneous shutdown of the DMV, welfare services, state police databases, and even traffic cameras shows this wasn't a random attack. This was a coordinated assault on the the critical infrastructure of Nevada. What we're seeing in Nevada represents the next evolution of cyber warfare attacks powered by artificial intelligence and machine learning. Modern ransomware groups are using AI tools to automate network reconnaissance, identify vulnerabilities, and execute attacks with precision that would have been impossible just five years ago. For 48 hours, locals trying to come to this welfare office in East Las Vegas have been left in limbo. This after a statewide cyber attack caused major disruptions to their services and many others. These AI powered tools can scan thousands of systems simultaneously, learn from each other's interaction to identify the most vulnerable targets. They can adapt their attack methods in real time, bypassing traditional security measures that rely on recognizing known threat patterns. The fact that attackers were able to maintain persistent access to Nevada systems for months without detection suggests they were using advanced evasion techniques, possibly including AI generated polymorphanic malware that's consistently changing its signature to avoid detection. There could be other political reasons. There could be uh, a nation state attack. Uh, it could be several other things as well on that front. It also could be something where the security team at the state have affected something and uh, has basically Hold the plug. Cybersecurity expert Tim Roy noted this could be a nation state attack, which is particularly concerning because nation state actors have access to the most advanced AI powered cyber weapons available. Initially, state officials claim that no personal information has been compromised, but that story quickly changed as the investigation progressed. By Wednesday, they admitted that some data has been infiltrated or moved outside the state network by malicious actors. I must disclose that our ongoing forensic investigation has found evidence that indicates some data has been exfiltrated. 
or moved outside the state network by the malicious actors. This data infiltration is particularly concerning because modern ransomware groups use AI-powered data analysis tools to automatically identify the exact and most vulnerable information from the compromised system. They're not just encrypting files for ransom, they're stealing sensitive data that could be used for identity theft, espionage, or sold to the dark market web. At this stage of our intensive investigation, we cannot yet identify or classify the specific nature of this data. The fact that investigators still can't identify what specific data was stolen, probably all of it, suggests that attackers use sophisticated techniques, possibly including AI-generated encrypted methods that make it extremely difficult to determine what information was actually compromised. This represents a new level of cyber criminal sophistication. They're not just holding systems hostage. They're conducting intelligence operations that could have long-term national security implications. While the technical aspects of this attack are particularly fascinating from a cybersecurity perspective, the human cost is absolutely devastating. Real Nevadans were left without access to essential government services for nearly a week because of these sophisticated cyber criminals. We received food stamps due to our financial situation. Jose Quintana and his wife are on a fixed income and rely on food stamps to help them get by. On Monday, they stopped by the welfare office near Flamingo and Peckles looking for help with their benefits card. This shows how AI-powered cyber attacks aren't just technical problems. They have real world consequences for vulnerable Americans. It's shocking because I've never seen this happen before. I caught up with Steven Gomez in the parking lot of the East Sahara Avenue DMV Tuesday. Just came to uh, do a renewal on my truck and uh, camp won't be able to do it today. Steven Gomez couldn't renew his truck registration and was stuck riding his motorcycle. One senior citizen dealing with cancer said, I'm a senior citizen and I've been dealing with cancer. It's hard for me to come out here in the heat and deal with all this. These sophisticated attacks target the systems that Americans depend on for basic services, turning advanced technology into a weapon against ordinary citizens. What happened in Nevada, unfortunately, is just the beginning. Cybersecurity experts predict that AI-powered attacks will become increasingly common and sophisticated. We're entering an area where cyber criminals can use machine learning to automatically discover vulnerabilities, craft personalized attacks, and execute coordinated assaults on critical infrastructure. It was the first time we really heard anything from anyone about this attack. There were no less than nine speakers at the governor's office in Carson City, with one notable exception. The governor, Joe Lombardo, he was an Elko. The challenge for defenders is that AI-powered attacks can evolve faster than traditional security measures can adapt. While human security analysis might take days or weeks to identify and respond to new threats, AI-powered attack tools can modify their tactics in real time. This unfortunately creates an arms race between AI-powered attack tools and AI-powered defense systems. The side with the most advanced artificial intelligence capabilities will have a significant advantage in this new form of warfare. The Nevada attacks demonstrates that foreign adversaries and criminal organizations are already developing these advanced capabilities against American infrastructure. The question is whether our defenses can keep up pace with the rapidly evolving threat. America, this Nevada cyber attack represents a watershed moment in the evolution of cyber warfare. We're no longer dealing with simple hackers using basic tools. We're facing sophisticated adversaries who are weaponizing artificial intelligence against American infrastructure. The fact that these attackers were able to maintain maintain persistent access to Nevada systems for months, simultaneously compromise multiple agencies, and execute a coordinated ransomware attack shows a level of sophistication that should concern every American. The attack also demonstrates how vulnerable our critical infrastructure is to AI-powered cyber weapons. If Nevada systems can be completely paralyzed for nearly a week, what happens when these same techniques are used against power grids, water systems, or financial networks? The good news is, is that this attack is spurring investment in AI AI-powered cybersecurity defenses. The private sector is developing machine learning tools that can detect and respond to threats faster than human analysis ever could. But we need to recognize we're in a new era of cyber warfare where the stakes are higher and the weapons are even more sophisticated than ever before. The Nevada attack is a preview of what's coming if we don't take cybersecurity seriously. Let me know what you guys think about this. Drop it down in the comment section down below. Smash the like button if you kindly would. Share, subscribe. And as always, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.